hi this is mrs sykes and this video is looking at photosynthesis graphs and specifically looking at the temperature graph now the temperature graph is a very characteristic up and back down shape and this is the same kind of shape as you get when you look at a enzyme temperature graph and that's because photosynthesis is a reaction that uses lots of enzymes so the effect of enzymes and temperature will be shown with photosynthesis as well because it is an enzyme reaction. I'm going to talk you through this graph in terms of what goes where. So along the bottom we have got temperature so that means that on this very far left we have got cold temperatures and on the very right we have got hotter temperatures. I've deliberately not given you numbers because plants photosynthesize in different climates and therefore different temperatures. So the optimum temperature of a plant is going to be different from one species to another. So this is our temperature. It's usually going to be given in degrees Celsius. This end is going to be really cold. This end will be getting warmer, 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 hot. On the far left hand side, you have rate of photosynthesis. Just to make that really clear, what that really means is speed of photosynthesis, so how fast the reaction is going. So the top part up here is very fast, and then you've got slow and slow. And when we have flat wound at the bottom, this is actually not working anymore. So as soon as you get to this flat x-axis, it is stopped. So here it hasn't started yet, going slowly, getting quicker, getting quicker, 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 really fast, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, stopped. So photosynthesis reaction is about trying to get as much glucose released as possible. So on a more simplified version of this, temperature on the bottom, rate of reaction up the side. We're going to split our graph into two sections on either side of that highest point and the highest point is our optimum temperature so we've got too cold too hot this side this side is probably the easiest to remember so we're going to start when we are too hot this is when your enzymes have denatured if you remember Enzymes are biological catalysts and they're a specific shape so that the substrate can fit inside and so that it can react. But when they are denatured, what happens is the active site shape is lost. So it's basically melted and that means that that won't go in anymore and won't be catalyzed. So here, just a few of them have denatured. Here, lots of them have denatured. And here and onwards, all of them are denatured and completely broken. So after the optimum, it gets too hot, so it denatures, which is really straightforward to remember. But you do need to be using that word of denatured. As we are increasing in temperature, this is all about kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is the energy of movement. When things are too cold, there isn't enough heat or kinetic energy for the reaction to take place. As it gets a bit warmer, there is more kinetic energy, so the reaction takes place more, so the rate of photosynthesis is higher. As we get even hotter, it gets even quicker because there's more kinetic energy. At the optimum point, there is so much kinetic energy, the plant can't photosynthesize any faster. After that point, it gets too hot and some of the enzymes begin to denature. When they've all denatured, it will flatline. 